Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Big Fish Lad, and for those of you that don't know me, my name is Paul. And today, what I want to do is, I just want to talk to you a little bit about my experience in fish keeping in the last couple of years, and where I am right now, and what my plans are going forward. So, the question I have is, have any of you ever been or are addicted to this fish keeping of it? Because I absolutely believe you can be, and I absolutely believe that I was. So, in January next year, I would have been keeping fish for 30 years, man. 30 years. I, I, in fact, 30 years is, is ages. So long and so old. But 30 years in January, I've been keeping fish. And for the first 26 years, I could probably count on both hands how many fish I've kept. And probably eight of them were Oscar fish. Um, and honestly, since then, I'd need a fair few hands to count the amount of fish I've had, believe me. And if anybody's watching who knows me will know that. But, you know, joking apart, joking apart, it's not, it, it's serious, and that's what I'm saying to you. Is it an addiction? I believe I was addicted, and I'll tell you what I mean by addicted, because it can mean a few different things. So, for instance, I see people in the hobby on Facebook who love chasing a tank, having it built or buying it. They buy a certain tank, they build it a certain way, they put certain fish in it, and then they board because they love the project and there's nothing wrong with that I'm okay with that you should be okay with that they love the project that's what they love doing as long as they send the fish to the right people there is no problem with it but it can become addictive and I see it in people I see that they're addicted to it the other kind of person who I'm talking about is the person who chops and changes the fish and that was me that was me I would say probably for the last two and a half even three years that I have been addicted to going in shops or going online and buying new fish and with that, it doesn't matter how many tanks you've got you have to get rid of some of your fish now don't get me wrong um, I have so I had some fish that I really liked and I still got rid of them but I think what, what, what the problem was with me was, was I wasn't happy with what I was keeping in the first place. So, just to run us to four years ago-ish, something like that, you know, I found Facebook, I found Facebook forums, and it opened me up to a brand new world of fish shops, of fish keepers, different fish that I'd never even seen before because I had two local fish shops that stocked pretty much the same kind of fish. I never even knew about a pair of aquatics, which was half an hour away. And I got that world, and obviously, regardless of how many years that you've been, I've been in the hobby, it was like a new world to me. And I was visiting all these new fish shops, seeing all these new fish. And do you know what? I got to a point where I, so I started off, so two years ago, two and a half years ago, I thought I had my dream tank built, which was my seven foot tank, uh, my 200 gallon tank. And I thought that was going to be my dream tank. But well, that was on the back of keeping South American cichlids like Oscars and, and Severums. And I thought this was it. I could, have as, I could have quite a lot of those in there. But I was never happy with the build. And I'm not bothered to say it on here. The build was shit. You know, I spent a lot of money on that tank. And it was shit. I just wasn't happy with it. The tank was okay. The build wasn't great. So that got me down because this was the built this was supposed to be the dream segment i sat with my missus and the guy who built it and we talked it through about what we wanted but it was just not anyway what, what then i had a sump put in it and i thought you know what this is going to be great it's a new thing it's going to save me some electric the sump split the first night and my missus was never going to have a sump in this house again after that the very first night it split but i'd had all my tank redone so i'd had shelves taken out and it just didn't look nice it did not look nice the doors wouldn't close anyway my head was gone at that point and so you know i'm not in i'm in a situation where i'm chopping and changing fish i'm chasing new fish all the time i'm getting bored of the fish i've got and this and this by the way this by the way was was in a time when i thought i was gonna change because i'd moved from south american cichlids about probably less than a year ago, about eight months ago, 
I, I changed from the South American cichlids to the Central American and North American, very much inspired by Andy Woods and the King of Queen cichlids, um, because they are my favourite channels from, from content. The guys are brilliant, I mean, top guys, top guys, but the fish that they keep are absolutely amazing. And I, I got to a point where I was going to wait till I moved house to change this tank and change this situation but I didn't. I said to the missus I'm doing it now and I got that seven foot fish tank out of my life and I was so happy about that and now I feel better, I know what my vision is, I've got a lot of the fish that I want and probably another trimax short of that of that group of fish that I want so anyway guys just, just before I show you my fish are you addicted or have you been addicted in this fish in this fish shop? You can tell me, be honest with me. Let me know in the comments. I, I really want to know because I was. I know I wasn't. And you know what? Lockdown was pretty good for me because it stopped me in my tracks. It made me think and it made me think. Don't get me wrong, the beginning of lockdown, I bought a load more fish. But into lockdown, I stopped and reflected. I even reflected on, on the Facebooks and I've got rid of a load of the Facebook groups. So I've made massive changes and I've moved on. So what I want to do now guys is I want to show you my situation and my setup right now because this is what it's going to be going forward and like I said to you this is open and honest so I'm going to be open and honest with you as to where I am right now. So let's start. I'm just going to swing you around guys. So the first tank is the Cubans and to be honest guys I showed you this on the last video. If you haven't seen it just knit back to my last video and you'll see an in-depth talk about the Cubans. They're the Cubans, they are absolutely stunning, no change there, they're in this, I think it's a 70 gallon tank, yeah 70 gallon tank, and they're fine in there for a while yet, um, there's, there's this space next to this tank for me to get a bigger one, but that's their tank for now, moving on quickly because we talked about them before, don't want to bore you guys, that's the thing, we've got Boris, now, bit of a bit of an open and honest situation with Boris, so, we love Boris, Boris is our wet pet, but Boris isn't really in the future plan, but we're going to have a problem if we if we want to get rid of him because I don't think we do want to get rid of him. You know, even the most of the family love him, but we'll see. We'll see if we can fit him in. But like I said, an open and honest situation. He's not what was in the plan. And you know what? I would much rather have a trimac in that tank than him going forward. So that's Boris. Anyway, um, let's pan you around, guys, to this, which is the. 450 litre dual tank with the Jag, the Carpenters. That is their tank and the watermelon plate. But there is a small Midas in there. Beautiful, beautiful Midas. It's it's got so much potential. He will be getting or she will be getting their own tank. Look at that. I have to show you that because it's just phenomenal. They'll be getting their own that, that fish will be getting its own tank as soon as I, I get a chance. I've bought three new tanks, guys, so it's gonna cost a bit of money, so I've got to be, you know, it's gonna be Rome wasn't built in a day as such. But yeah, that's what's going on in there. There's the Jag, there's the Carpenters, and then we pan over it, and as you'll see, Bosco's in this tank. This is not Bosco's tank, but we've got a new fish, guys. We have got a new fish, and I had to buy that new fish, but I'll talk to you about that new fish in a mo. This is Bosco, as you all know, you've met Bosco a few times, I do videos on Bosco. He's just in this tank, he will be going back to his own tank, and this tank will be getting replaced with a dual 350. So yeah, there's Bosco and he's doing really well. His, his colours are coming out fantastic. That tank is horrible. But yeah, well, we get that's the only one now that isn't in with the in with the the plan. So I've got loads of dual Rios and they're all in white. And the other thing, I was going to show you something else, guys. This tank here, check this out. This is so I had obviously the Manicapore Angels and. This tank's only 100 litres, so some of these 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 American poor angels are growing now. So the, my friend Graham, who has a, actually has got a YouTube channel and an Instagram channel called Landy Aquatics, he's going to take four of these off me because I want to get a pair. And again, guys, being deadly honest, if this takes space up, then this will be taken away as well, and I will put another tank there for an American cichlid we have what is in my plan but that is the my poor angels they're just eating some like dried shrimp but yeah and, and then I've got a little little um so if you see these here NC labs liquid CO boost and plant boost got a little experiment going on and look at the plants how bushy they are 
it's already working guys it's doing pretty good okay so pan you back round to me so that's in the, the actual fish room in the back room but we have got a new fish and like I said to you he is in Boris's tank for now until I get the new the new the new tank so this I was offered this fish by somebody uh, who emailed me on Facebook and this fish was actually part of my plan and I'd actually looked at Rob Johnson's Lynx fish uh, Cichlid of America's order which I have ordered some Trimac from he's got some young Trimac they're only about an inch but I've ordered four of them but I was going to get this fish and I think it was around about five five six inches on his order form but I turned this fish down at first and I kept seeing it on Accurate Classified and I thought Do you know what it was 25 quid I thought I'm going to buy it so let's have a look and this is it guys, the red devil. So it's a red devil, it's a piebald red devil. Look at him. He's lovely, I mean he's 10 inches so he's he's quite big. Quite, probably a bit bigger than what I would have liked to have bought but he's still a beauty, it's what I was looking for. He's, I've only had him, I've had him less than a week so he's still settling in. He's gonna, he's a bit pale and you know, we'll feed him up on some nice food and we'll, we'll he'll get used to us because he's obviously in a room where there's a lot of traffic and a lot going on but he's, seems calm enough, he's eating. But yeah guys, that's the new fish, and we're going to call him Jagger. My mate John messaged me and said I think you should call him Jagger because of his lips. And you can see his lips guys, look at his lips. That's why I call him Jagger, and I thought it was quite funny. For those of you that don't know, that's Mick Jagger. Um, you, know, you younger type might not remember who Mick Jagger is, but yeah, he had big lips and he was um, a great singer of the Rolling Stones. But yeah, so we're calling him, we're calling him Jagger. So that's it, so that's the Red Devil guys, so you know what, I'm, I'm happy I got him, I really am happy that I got him. So anyway, so that's it guys, that's where I am at right now, that's part of what the future holds. Uh, I'm not going to hold on to anything in the past, I've had a lot of nightmares and I was addicted. So I'm telling you now, I'm coming out, I was addicted to fish keeping in one way, but if you were addicted or you are you are you not even enjoying the hobby guys let me know in the comments because you need to do something about it because i absolutely love the fish that are in my fish room and not the ones that are in the shops not even hardly been to a shop the only shop i go to is burn ernie's because i don't i like helping him out and for those of you that have not been burning any guys get down there fantastic shop anyway been going on myself far too much now but thanks for watching and see you on the next video